This tutorial will cover the basics of sending your claims to a clearinghouse or direct to the payer. Claim submission with Premier only takes a couple of clicks. Let's quickly go through the process of sending claims, then review the system configuration. First, we click Send Claims to open the list of claims ready to submit. The program allows you to select which claims to send. This is helpful if you want to batch your claims by provider or payer. To send all the claims, click the Check All button. Notice all the claims now have a check next to them. Before sending, let's click Check for Errors to see if the program catches any issues. And finally, we will create a batch and send. Once the claims have been successfully uploaded, you have the option of printing an exported claims report. For this tutorial, we will click No to skip this step. Now that we've run through the process, let's back up and look at the tools Premier provides to make it easy to connect to your clearinghouse or payer. We will start with the EDI Connection Library. This can be found under the Libraries icon on the ribbon bar. The EDI Connection Library is where you tell the program how you will be connecting to your clearinghouse or payer. EDI connections are used for both sending claims and receiving reports. If you connect to more than one processor, you can create multiple connection entries. EasyClaim Premier provides a variety of connection types, including Secure File Transfer, the most popular data transfer method. Your clearinghouse or payer will let you know which type to select. They will also provide the login and password to set up the connection. Let's take a look at the Secure File Transfer type. As you can see, to make this connection type work, you will need to enter the required parameters provided by the processor. Once the values have been entered, use the Test Connection button to configure your login and password is correct. I'll quickly add some test values so we can check the Test Connection button. A successful test does not guarantee that you'll be able to send claims or receive reports. There are many other factors that cannot be tested. Once you're finished, click the Save and Close button. Next is the Submitter Receiver Library. This is found under the Libraries icon on the ribbon bar. The values entered into the Submitter Receiver Library are provided by your clearinghouse or payer. Typically, a companion guide will be provided that outlines their requirements. Submitter receiver entries can be created for 837 professional or institutional claim billing as well as eligibility through certain clearinghouses. Once you have entered the data, click Save and Close. Now that we've reviewed the setup for sending claims, let's go back and review the Send Claim screen in more detail. Let's start with the connection setting. To export the file to your computer, select Just Export File. Since we're sending to a clearinghouse, we will select the clearinghouse item previously created in the EDI Connection Library. Next, we will confirm the Submitter Receiver Library section. The program will show the name of the entry along with the export format. In this case, it's the ANSI 837 with tilde. To select a different entry, use the drop-down box. The highlighted grid section shows the claims ready to submit. Let's talk about what makes a claim appear in the list. Right now, only claims with a claim status of ready to submit and the method set to electronic are shown. We'll open a claim to show you what we mean. To quickly open the claim, double-click the row. Notice the claim status and method are set to ready to submit and electronic. If either one of those settings are changed, the claim will not appear on the list. At the lower right of the screen are some filter options. To see all your electronic claims regardless of the status, click the All Electronic option. Notice how more claims appear in the list. To see all the claims regardless of the claim status or method, click the All option. This will cause the program to show all claims in the system. 
Under most circumstances, this filter is set to ready to submit. This grid, like all grids in Premiere, is customizable. If you'd like to see the patient account number, it can be added using the column chooser feature. By the way, there's a full tutorial available on customizing grids. Next, we select the claims to send using the click all button. Once the claims are selected, it's a good idea to check for any issues. Premiere has a built-in error check that will look for the most common issues, such as a missing billing provider or insured ID. If no errors are found, you're ready to send. To create the batch file and send to the clearinghouse, click the Create and Send Batch button. The program will batch your claims and send them through your connection to the clearinghouse or payer. Once successfully uploaded, you will see a green confirmation message. You can then print an exported claims report. Since the claim status has been changed from ready to submit to submitted, they're removed from the list. Close the Send Claims screen to return to the home page. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact us or visit easyclaim.com.